Good evening, and welcome to Scoop Perlman's Guide to Art. Tonight, we explore the world of graffiti. Is it vandalism, as some say, or is it a legitimate art form? You, the viewer, decide. Well, I'm, just, I'm one of the owners of Mother Fools, and uh, we just decided that, well, we thought a while back that it would be nice to have something like this. We had a really ugly wall <laughs> here before. Sure, we just uh, do our best to provide a forum for artists. Um, we have Inside, we have an art show that changes every month, so uh -huh. people submit stuff, and um, we're able to provide a space for a lot of people to do their first shows. And with graffiti art in particular, it's always been something that I've really liked. A lot of times when I've visited other cities, a lot of the pictures I bring back are pictures of cool graffiti, and um, that's really been lacking in Madison since I've lived here. I, I don't see very much. <laughs> I don't see very much going on with that, and um, I think part of it is our our city's bad attitude toward it. It's so this is all legal. Are you planning on using other artists? Yeah, what's going to happen? Um, we don't really have the sign-up system in place yet, but Don's already been taking a lot of uh, sign-ups. So people will sign up to, to do the wall periodically, and it should change every couple months. And it's completely non-jury. They just have to they just have to abide by a few basic rules about no commercial message, no profanity, no violent imagery, no nudity. Those are the four conditions. You know, I kind of feel like the state of the world right now <laughs> has may maybe helped people reevaluate their priorities. It's definitely made me feel more uh, like, I, I suppose, especially with the former design that went up and stuff, it went up right after September 11th. And mm -hmm. I suppose in a way that, that helped me just decide to go ahead and, and put it up without permission from the city first. I, I, I think in that way. I, and I also thought, well, maybe the city will be more likely to be less uptight about stuff in general. Okay. I mean, hopefully it seems like a What kind of reaction did you get to the Statue of Liberty thing? It was mostly positive. Um, yeah, a lot of people really liked it, and I think people interpreted it in wildly different ways. There were a couple people who were, uh, so someone was like, why does the Statue of Liberty look like a troll? <laughs> and there were a couple a couple of weird comments like that. A woman came in and said, what is the creature in front of the flag? It's not very attractive. But for the most part, people were very receptive to it. And I think people were really sort of excited to see um, kind of patriotic imagery that, that didn't imply a call to arms. The graffiti is a whole bunch of different artist styles. You know, it's not, the medium is our unifying factor. It's not necessarily how we do anything like graffiti art. You can't, I mean, it, it, it's like judging any kind of art, every kind of art. It's all out there from portraits to cartoons to uh, surreal to, you know, just abstract. It's all out there. Yep. Uh, anything you could think of, they do it, you know, it's spray paint on the wall. It's, it's generally graffiti, you know. Are you part of the hip hop culture? Not really, no. I mean, hip hop has done a lot for graffiti as far as bringing it into a public realm, uh -huh. stuff like that. But graffiti was around long before hip hop. Um, like I said, it's endorsed by hip hop, and I, I, I give hip hop props. I mean, I like hip hop; it's cool, you know. Okay. What do you think of? You know, there's a couple of graffiti artists that have kind of made it big in the New York art scene. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking of Keith Haring and Jean yep. Mutt, but Basquiat. Right on. Yep. Um, That's old school. Old school. Okay. Yeah. Well, that, <laughs> so am I. I mean, that's what brought us this art form into being. I mean, those are the Godfathers type, you know. Okay. So, do you have? Um, so them getting all kind of famous, does uh, that? It's not really fame, it's about getting it out there. It, it, it's not necessarily about the fame, it's about getting the art out there, getting uh -huh. the art form out there. So I'm trying to do this here in Madison to try to get the art form out there to the people yeah. to see it's not inner city, it's not urban, you know. I, I grew up on a farm, okay. you know what I mean? I'm yeah. a farm kid, I'm I'm out here painting, you know, just like anybody else. Okay, I'm thinking like Herring and Bosky out there and they, um, they brought the art, like the uptown galleries and stuff, exactly. and somehow that doesn't seem to me to be a part of what this is about. I and mean, it seems to be, That's like, well, you know, just like, I guess a very non elitist thing. Right. Yeah, I mean, well, I don't have a problem with that. I mean, graffiti's for everybody. It's not to be, yeah. that's not our thing. You know, we're not going to fight somebody over it. It's anybody wants to paint on a wall, grab a can, let's do this. I'm cool with it. So, what kind of graffiti scene is there in Madison? None. None? Are you guys it? 
No, I mean, there's some, but... No, we got some bad riders compared to, like, the rest of the Midwest. I don't know. There's some people. There's a lot of people that got in trouble, so they can't really paint too much. No, I heard something on the radio the other day that uh, there are some folks around here that want to up the penalty for graffiti. They want to make it a felony. You hear about that? Yeah. Does that concern you at all? <laughs> no? Just to watch your back more. Okay, yeah. So a tougher law is not going to be a deterrent for you. This no. is something that you. No. <laughs> I mean, I don't really do illegal, so. Imagine <laughs> having to watch your back might, you know, lend kind of an edge to it. Eh. Yeah, you know, you gotta hey. do stuff in a hurry. You know, make decisions that you otherwise might spend exactly spend you know, more time yeah, some on. Of, some of the illegal nighttime stuff has been some of the more bootier stuff, but you know. It works, you know, it's out, it's up. It's it's not a two color, you know, bomb. It's it's something, so you know. I don't know. I'm kind of a perfectionist. This comes with a lot of fun too. I don't know. I like doing stuff. I guess illegal if you consider at night. Uh-huh. That's kinda of fun. I mean I don't think it's really hurting someone. I mean I've done spots that have been sitting there for years now. And they've never gone over it, so I don't That's kind of me. Yeah, I don't consider it illegal if, you know, they don't mind it. So you're talking about, you know, folks in the... Is there some kind of, like, separation in the graffiti community or the hip-hop community? No, there's right, you know, you haven't come out and said that, you know, you don't like taggers, but, you know, you kind of implied that what you do is different from what they do. I mean, well, yeah, I mean, it is. I mean, not, not in our eyes. In our eyes, it's not. In our eyes, it's all the same, but to the general public, it seems to be. There is a difference. Oh, that's not graffiti. That's art. It's graffiti. If I, I would do the same thing with or without permission, it's graffiti. You know? I'm just trying to hook up the permission because they are talking about coming down hard on us. We had to get permission from the plan commission, and we had to get a conditional use permit. And normally, anytime we would want to put a mural up, um, if it were permanent art, they would have to approve the content of each mural before you, before they, yeah, before you could put it up. But um, they, Don and Linda Grubb at the city figured out a way for them to approve it as a billboard so they wouldn't have to approve the content each time. It would be cool to know that the cops can roll by and they can't say a fucking <laughs> thing. God. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's awesome. I think it's awesome <laughs> to see something like this in the city. What do you think about the idea that these folks had to ask permission of the city to put this up? I think that's terrible. <laughs> we were just actually talking about that. I was like, I wonder if they had to get permission to do that. And I was like, probably just from the people there. I didn't think they'd have to go to the, the, city. the city at well, all. Well, the fact that the city is letting them do it, that's cool. Yeah. But I mean, if, they're, if they actually have to ask. I don't I'm, know. That's kind of bizarre. This art is for whoever wants, whoever passes by. Uh-huh. What do you think of this? Ah, uh, I like it. It's kind of performance art in a way, just watching it. Uh-huh. Just uh, watching it go up like yeah, that? Yeah, right. So I like it for that. Um, what do you think of the content, or you know, as much as you can see so far? This one, I'm a comic artist myself. Okay. And. I think it's a challenge to do something that size. As far as the uh, gibberish in the corner goes, I, I don't know what that is at all, so. <laughs> <laughs> this guy kind of takes pride in being illegible. Right. Says that's what makes it art. I guess so. <laughs> you like going, you like, you know, walking or riding by here and, and like, seeing stuff on the yeah, wall? I like looking at things like this because it brings out people and what they do. Uh-huh. So, and what talent they got. Yeah. So, so you think these guys are artists, huh? Yeah. Even I though do. they're not hanging in the gallery and they never went to art school? Yeah. They're still artists to me, you know. Yeah, they're, they're still the real deal, huh? Right. So you think these guys are artists? Oh, yeah. For sure, man. For sure. They're definitely artists. They wouldn't be here if they weren't, you know? Uh-huh. Because, I mean, it ain't easy just to be able to do shit like that. Or still, it ain't easy to do you stuff, can, stuff like you that. You can say right? shit. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a day job? No. Well, I'm an artist. Okay. <laughs> That's not a job. Yeah, well, you'll see. You know, your partner there says, you know, that he's an artist, you know, so that's... Do you view yourself as an artist? Is that... Into a point. Yeah, I mean... It's, I, mean you know, I mean, what do you... It, it depends on what kind of art you're looking at, though, you know. Well, Some yeah, people I, don't I, think I'm this is art. I'm talking about your own personal assessment of you yourself. 
Yeah, to a point. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm not no Picasso, you know. I've got more of a, I guess you could like a pop art type look. Uh, uh -huh. Coop, Kazik, uh, Big Daddy Ed Roth. That's where my main, you know, that's where I get my ideas from. Is that kind of style where he's more like yeah, abstract. He looks at the abstract stuff, more letters and shapes and colors, stuff like that. But How about your own stuff? Like you mentioned Big Daddy Roth. And yeah, have you ever gotten into that custom car culture thing? No, nah, not really. I'm trying to do the same thing, but with walls. I'm trying to do okay. about the same thing he did, bringing art to something that, you know, didn't really exist. But I'm trying to bring it like popularized to walls like that, you know, where he did it to cars. Uh huh. So would he be one of your influences? Uh, yeah, totally. You know, yeah. I, I like and, cartoons. Uh -huh. I mean, I totally dig cartoons. You know, I want to do animation good someday. Good cartoons, though. Okay. Personally, so. Okay. It, it's the eye that grabs them. With me, it's always the eye that grabs them. That's the centerpiece. Everything revolves around the eye. Okay. That's basically how I and, work. And you, you control know. the center. Exactly. Well, do you see yourself as having a relationship with your materials? Well, kind of. They so. get a little funky sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> no. I just do letters. He does the characters. Uh huh. All right. I so, so your division of labor is pretty laid out there. Yeah. So I mean, I'll do characters, but no one likes my characters. <laughs> <laughs> do you really care good. that anybody likes them? Well, no. It's people are picky. He's more of an abstract artist. People don't really get a lot of his stuff. Uh -huh. Whereas mine's a little more palpable to you know mainstream. I really like his stuff. A lot of artists like his stuff, but. A lot of the mainstream doesn't get it. No, you know. <laughs> He's cool. This motherfucker's cooler than Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> cooler than Jesus. You know, if you could put like 50 colors into one key, then you're God. What kind of process went into your, your palette selection today? Color selection? Yeah. Um, Christmas colors? I don't know. I'm trying to make mine look kind of icy looking. Okay. I usually don't use blues that much. I use a lot of greens more than anything. Greens and oranges. Those are like my favorite colors. Well, I see your real partial to Krylon is... It's Krylon usually works. I like Rusto a lot. Okay. American Accents, but he doesn't like them. I like them because of what you can do with them. Which is? You, you can do... Your lines can come out different. Cause how the, how it spurts out. Krylon's more just like a straight line. Russell's more spurted and cracked. I mean, if it was really cold today, I wouldn't be using like most of these colors. Huh. Just because a lot of paint don't work during when it's really cold. So I'm starting to get lightheaded from the fumes. Not in a real pleasant way either. Did you get that? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Well, how do you see your relation to the arts district downtown? Any <laughs> relationship at all? <laughs> adversarial? Much relationship. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know if it's an adversarial relationship or if it's no relationship, but there should be a relationship between, you know, between what the city is doing to promote arts and, and actual living, breathing artists in this community, and there isn't much that I see. With that center up there? I went up there one time, they had a whole bunch of sticks figure things I'm like what is this <laughs> I mean yeah it's, it's cool but don't have like 35 of them sitting in there and consider it like the art gallery or, you know it's like come on I'm not gonna go on the over overture foundation and uh, see that that art in there I don't I don't know if I'd necessarily even be welcome in there you know, as a community <laughs> member so so you feel excluded from from this hundred and fifty million dollar gift well I think I do <laughs> yes and I'm sure they do as well these artists who put this up I think we should take them out back and wolf them <laughs> see what I'm gonna try to over outdo the overture center they want that they want to spend millions cool I'm gonna get the underground art scene up more so you know we get the fame fuck them I just, I'm just trying to hook up cool shit. I was sick of looking around and not seeing anything cool, so I decided to start doing cool shit. <laughs> okay. Hi.
I drove by here last week and there was something else up here on the wall. Now we come by here again, there's something new up and in a couple weeks it'll be something else. And I like that. You know, it's this is not about art under glass or art in some gallery with temperature and humidity sensors on the wall. This is you know, art where you can walk right up and just touch it. And it's always changing, just like just like the world, just like this neighborhood. Yeah, I, I think this is just such a wonderful project. You know, you look around a neighborhood like this, and you know, like you know, Don was saying, Don does say that, you know, there's not a lot of cool shit to look at. You know, so some people have taken it upon themselves to put up some cool shit. And I'm all for that. Yeah, you know, I'm all for you know, being able to, you know, it's a real kind of, I don't know what you'd call it, a punk rock ethos, where, you know, just anybody can pick up a can of paint or an electric guitar and make music or make art. This is a wonderful thing here. And, you know, if our city were more enlightened, if the people that run the city had you know, any kind of sensibility at all, you know, there would be walls like this all over town. As it is, there's just this one. And so yeah, I just wanna give you a little tip of the pin, you know, to the folks that put this thing together. And I hope they keep on keeping on with it because it's, it's a beautiful thing.